Hey, welcome YouTubers on BTFLage.com. Uh, last night, I have received an email from one of the guy called Alex. He said uh, he's very new to PHP and he's looking for, you know, some kind of a custom dynamic farm with PHP and MySQL, you know, where we can create a registration page and after the registration, the users need to log in and authenticate first in order to see the actual secure area uh, he would be creating later. So I thought uh, I should go ahead and I'll make a video on it and anyone else who is interested learning making a custom dynamic registration and a login page you can watch the video too. So very first uh, what I want to discuss is if you guys have you know zero knowledge on PHP or if you are a noob in PHP then you can do it. You can go on YouTube and you can you know search for the playlist. I have of 11 videos on PHP for beginners. You can get a very basic idea on how to download the servers on your system or how PHP work, how to test it, whether it's working or not. And then you can follow along with this particular video. So reset I'm gonna make. So without wasting any time guys, uh, I have a folder and it is inside my WAMP uh, directory. And inside the WAMP there is a www folder. Inside it, uh, I would be creating a new folder that would be the name of our project or if you are making a site then it would be the name of your site okay so uh, let's call this one to PHP okay that's perfectly fine and uh, inside me and we need a couple of folders one well, let's say be CSS though I won't be touching CSS a lot but still we can build you know we can make a folder for CSS and very first I would be building a file and I would be naming it to register.php okay and I would be creating one more folder this would be scripts inside this folder we would be writing our all PHP core scripts so I would be opening my register.php file and I will enter the normal HTML markup I will take these scripts tag off because we don't need any kind of you know jQuery or JavaScript for it uh, and out here, uh, I would be creating another div. I would be saying, it's true. <coughs> okay, and here I would be giving myself a note that would be end register. If you are a beginner, uh, you guys can always follow this particular practice to give yourself notes, you know, after every single line that can make your code, uh, you know, very readable later if you will uh, you see your script after one year or after a very long time <clears throat> uh, guys inside it we need the farm tags because without creating any farm tags we cannot create a farm right and then would be the action uh, the action actually means which particular farm or I would say which particular file we want our farm to follow okay so if I'm gonna say register that PHP so this farm will only follow the functions of PHP written inside the register.php file and it will never listen to any of the other file then we have a form method to post or get uh, if you people will use get uh, you know your values won't be that secure in post they would be secure don't worry I'm gonna show you a demo on that later and inside it I would be creating a field set field set is nothing you know uh, related to PHP or function it's only just to make your uh, you know form look a uh, bit uh, clean or I would say systematic uh, inside it there would be a legend okay I have to write like this legend and inside it I would be saying register here okay uh, guys inside it I would be creating very simple uh, paragraph tags and inside every single paragraph tag I would be having a label and uh, uh, once he emailed me he said you know he's looking for a very long form so I thought it would be better if he will use the fields that uh, he want in his form so I have you know just noted all down out here so we need around 14 fields so the very first one would be a username <coughs> okay then we need an input the input type would be a text because we want a person to enter any kind of a numbers or you know uh, cut, uh, I would say special characters or strings or letters whatever they want and the name would be the user name 
uh, guys this particular field is really really important if you want to trigger some kind of a function so with PHP because uh, this form actually does not do anything until and unless we're not gonna write any PHP for it and the PHP will only listen to this particular attribute which is name and this name is equals to user name don't worry if it's sounding a bit confusing once we would be writing PHP it will make more sense value well, would be nothing and in the same way I can copy this particular paragraph tabs okay a couple of times for this one I would be saying uh, first we can grab the email so I'm gonna say email and the input type would be email uh, this will only work if you are using on you know, if your script is running on a HTML5 compatible browser then only input type email will validate the email automatically for you but if you are on IE6 or 7 uh, that browser gonna ignore it and you will have to write your own PHP function to validate an email but we can use it at least to take the advantage on those browsers who are HTML5 compatible the name would be email again <laughs> then we can get the person's name so here I can say first name Okay, and the input type would be text again. Here would be first name. In the same way, I can copy the paragraph tags. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. So from here, then we need the person's last name. Okay, so here would be last name after last name we need so we got username we got first and the last name and from here we got the email okay uh, now we can actually take the password they want to choose so let's say password okay here would be password and we can say the input type to password as well so that yeah, you know it would be some of those stars or bullets and no one actually can see what you are typing in okay. then here would be a retype password just to make sure that the person is entering the same one and they do remember at the time of login okay, maybe I can say password and the name I can say password too that's uh, that's way it did you know they both would be unique this is password 2 and this is password so I can take this off then we probably need person's date of birth and uh, here I can say DOB <coughs> input type would be text and this would be date of birth okay and then I'm gonna copy it again like this then we need the person's <coughs> address here would be address then you need address number two as well address two okay and then you probably need a town uh, here I can say address two for the town I can say town and again I'm gonna copy the same elements <coughs> after town we need the county address and a postcode and the contact number so here would be county here would be county as well after county we need postcode and in the very last we need their contact number okay so here I would be saying contact number here would be contact uh, like this and here I can take the labels off and I'm gonna say input type to submit because we do need a submit button in order to submit any kind of a form the post I'm sorry the name would be submit and the value would be 
or register. Okay. I believe that looks pretty fine. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna check it out in our browser. So out here I'm gonna open my local host because in order to run any kind of a PHP script we need a server and on your local machine it would be on your local host or you can type the uh, IP address 192.1 no 127.0.0.1 that will work too so I said PHP I'm gonna hit enter and here I have the file called register.php and see this is the particular form we have okay guys now we just want to style them really a bit you know just to make sure that they all are coming in line and the form is not that big a very very basic styling <coughs> so out here I would be saying it would be inside our CSS folder and this uh, style sheet name would be style.css so out here I'm gonna create a new file I will name it to style dot css i'm gonna open it and i'm gonna put some default html uh, i'm sorry yeah html <coughs> css styles and here i'm gonna say main styles starts here if your people are not sure how to get them you can go and you can you know search on google about css default style sheet you will get the entire chunk of code and you can paste it to your style sheet as well but um, out here I would be saying div by d register should have a width to 980 pixels okay and a margin to auto just to center the form come back refresh then I'm gonna say Field set uh, okay, out here first. I would be saying padding 10 pixels. <coughs> Field set will have a border to one pixel solid gray. Okay, come back, refresh. This is how it is. And let me take the padding off from here. And I'm gonna put the padding off here. Refresh one more time. This looks pretty fine, not very good. Then I can say for the legend, uh, I can say padding to 20 pixels. Okay, that seems pretty fine. Then I can say ID register P should have a padding to 5 pixels. Then I'm going to say label uh, should float towards the left and have a width to 80 pixels. Come back and refresh. Now they all look fine, okay? Or, you know, this, this particular feed is looking really, really ugly. We tag password. So let me say 120 pixels. Okay, now it's perfect. 